Hey guys, welcome back to another LSPDFR mod installation. Trooperhorn23, I'm going to show you how to install Stop the Ped today. This is an excellent Bajojo mod and it's essentially a must have for LSPDFR. We're going to go over the features and the installation and make sure it's working alright. Um, to get started, I am going down the mods list of my Discord. Uh, in previous videos, we installed Traffic Policer, Police Smart Radio. Today is Stop the Ped, and future videos will be Ultimate Backup, CompuLite, all these. And my next video is probably going to be EUP, Law and Order, and the menu, and Serve and Rescue. Uh, my Discord is growing with members. The link will be in the description to join my Discord. I have a wonderful helper team and help channels. And if you have any issues whatsoever, you can join those channels and ask for support. So, the only thing we're going to need today is Stop the Ped. The link will be in the description. When you click that link, it's going to bring you to this website. It's a Bajojo. He makes excellent mods, and we're going to be installing more in future videos. And you can scroll down, and we can you can read the features if you want, but I'm going to show you how it works. So scroll all the way to the bottom, press Download, blue Download button, and it'll download, and then drag it to your desktop, like I have right here, for sim simplicity, just so you know where it's at. So after that, open the folder and open the stop the ped folder and stop right there and then go to your main directory in Grand Theft Auto. It's wherever you installed it. I have many copies as you can see of Grand Theft Auto, but you're probably going to have one backup folder. Uh, the main folder is the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5 and nothing else after it like I've got here. So after we're in the main directory you are going to want to highlight Rage Native and I think in previous videos we installed a Rage Native but it was outdated the most updated Rage Native UI is this one right here the February 18 2018 this is the most up-to-date one and you're gonna want this so go ahead and highlight that drag it over to your main directory it's gonna to ask to replace go ahead and do it so now you have the most up-to-date Rage Native and now this is really easy, just highlight the plugins folder and drag and drop it into the directory. And it probably won't ask you to replace any folders, but if it does, go ahead and replace them. So now we're going to want to configure, stop the ped. It, that's the installation, by the way, so you can go ahead and X out of the folder. So if you go into plugins, lspdfr, we're going to see stop the ped, the folder and then stop the ped.dll and the stop the ped.ini which is your configuration. The stop the ped folder just has questions, the pat down items, etc. We won't be changing any of those, but you can if you want. But they will uh, they will be getting changed when we install interaction plus. So, you don't want to do anything with the .dll. Open the configuration settings. It's the one with the little gear beside the folder or the little paper, I guess. Double click that, it'll open with Notepad. Now this looks like a lot, but it's actually pretty easy to understand. So right here, this is keys. And the main key, E, you don't want to change that. Open the context menu. You guys is probably going to say G, but I change it to U to prevent conflictions with future modifications. And I don't change anything else in the keys. If you scroll down, you'll see parameters. I change this, the default is three, the probability of the ped going into resistance. I changed this from three to 30. This is gonna make it more likely for a ped to resist you when you try to arrest them. And I just think it's more fun when they resist, so I made it more common. The probability that the ped will attack the player instead of fleeing when they resist. I changed this from, it's usually 50. I changed this to 30 uh, because I don't want them attacking me all the time and I don't change anything else. Feel free to look through this and change whatever you want, but that's all I change. Go ahead and close out and save that. And now this is really important. Don't miss this next step because if you don't do this, there's gonna be a conflicting menu. Go into your main directory in Grand Theft Auto 5. You should see an LSPDFR folder. Go into there and you'll see keys. And it's again, the gear with the paper double click on the keys and you're going to want to find perform arrest right here it's E change that to none 
Uh, stop pads key is also E right here. Change that to none. And traffic stop interact key is set to E. Change this to none. After you change those three from E to none, you can exit out and save it. Make sure to save it. And we are now ready to go in the game. So I will see you guys in game. All right, guys, so here we are in the game. And it didn't do it for me, but it probably will for you. If it'll come up with that black box we saw in previous videos, all that's doing is adding more buttons to the Police Smart Radio. And you can read those and enable them if you want or not. But once you're done with that, it'll unload LSPDFR and reload it. And you're going to want to go to your police station, like I might here, and go on duty. And I want to apologize in advance, guys. You can probably hear everything I do on my keyboard and mouse. It's because I just got a new mic. That's probably why my voice sounds a lot better. And I'm still messing around with it and seeing the best position for the best quality. And so you don't hear these clicking every time I do something on the keyboard. So just get in any car you want. We're going to be installing cars in future videos. And once you're here and you're on duty, you're going to want to go pull somebody over. I will show you like this car right here. Remember, it's left shift on your keyboard and then E. And once they stop, right there, okay, that'll work. Just walk up to their car and press E. So now we get the stop the ped menu, and I don't know why she's doing a constant burnout, but whatever. Uh, if we didn't change the traffic stop, those three things in the LSPDFR keys, then there would be conflicting menus right here. So, we can ask for their driver's license by pressing enter. Kiplum. He says Kiplum, we're gonna um, fix that in future videos, and wow, she failed to show driver's license. You can ask for registration. Hi. You can Thanks. ask for insurance. Appreciate it. Just use the police smart radio and get a ped check. And it's probably going to say she doesn't have a license. Oh, she's on a suspended license. Okay. We can get a plate check with the smart radio. Suspect's license plate. Six, eight, zebra, king, x-ray, yep, eight, two, two, a traffic felony. So we can use Proceed stop the pet caution. to question the driver. We can say, have you been drinking? It'll pop up at the bottom of your screen. She says, nope. Done drugs. I'm feeling high now. Okay. Where did you come from? From my friends? Where are you headed to? You got all these questions, violations, documents. Like we can ask her, um, why are you driving with your license suspended? I swear I don't know that my license is suspended. So we can you can order them to leave the vehicle. And once they get out of the vehicle, you're going to have to double tap E again in order to stop them, like that, and we can request escort vehicle, we can do breathalyzer drug swab, or you can arrest them, and she's driving on a suspended license, so I'm going to go ahead and arrest her, and as you can see, from, I changed the um, resistance probability, and she was one of them that went to the resistance. And if you point your gun or taser at them and double tap E, they will stop. And you gotta wait for them to get down. And you just walk up to them and it'll say, press E to open the stop of the ped menu. And the only option you get is arrest them. You ain't never getting out of prison. So I think it's fun to go on these pursuits like that. But you can change the probability however you want. We can pat them down. And it'll show you what she has, a citation ticket, clown mask. It, it can either be green, yellow, or red. Red is like illegal stuff, clown mask is suspicious, and green is just normal stuff. So after that, we can breathalyze her.
Thanks. And it'll pop up. She is at a zero zero. We can drug swab them. And see if they're high on any Appreciate drugs. It. And she is not. I don't know why she said she was high right now when we questioned her, but whatever. And we can request a prisoner transport. And when you do that, uh, another officer will be on his way. He's coming right there. I'm pretty sure you can change how far away they spawn, but I just leave mine normal. I think it's fine. He'll get out of the car. And he will grab the car. Not the car, he'll grab the pedestrian. Walk them back to his car. And he will put her in the car. And eventually take her off to jail. Yep, she's getting in this car. And you don't have to deal with her anymore. Another officer will take her to jail for you. You can take them to jail if you want by grabbing them using the stop the pad menu. Right on. Thanks. But you don't have to. You can just call for prisoner transport. And he's going to take her to jail. So, another thing with stop the ped, that context menu that we changed from G to U. If you stand next to their car and press U, you can search the vehicle, request tow service, call the insurance, slow down traffic, stop traffic. If you slow if you slow down traffic, it's going to pop up with a yellow blip or like circle, I guess, on your map, and that's to show you the area that the traffic is slowed down. You can clear the traffic control by pressing U again. You can stop traffic, and this will totally stop them. All traffic within that orange circle. Um, but we can search the vehicle. He's going to do this. Open every single compartment. And we found a human skull, a brown bag stuff with money. Nothing of interest, nothing of interest. So that's a little suspicious. We can then request a tow service. You can request small, large, or flatbed. I'll just get a flatbed. Flatbed. Assistance required in Rockford Hill. And um, another thing, you cannot be moving if you want to open the context menu. Like if I'm walking and press U. See, it only works when you're standing still. You gotta be standing still. And if you're not against a car then it'll only show you the slow down traffic, stop traffic. And the tow truck picks up the car and takes it to the impound. So that'll do it for this tutorial. I hope you guys installed it successfully. If you need any help, remember I've got my Discord. The link will be in the description. And the link to stop the ped will also be in the description. And be on the lookout for future videos. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.